Uh, welcome back everybody um, to our Revit 2016 uh, Project B. Um, been a couple of days since I've done one of these so let's just have a quick catch up of what we did last time. Okay so we have our um, we've got a CAD file there um, we've got um, let's jump into 3D very quickly okay we've got um, we've got a topo surface and see that CAD file sitting in there um, and the other thing we did is that we set up these some reference planes that we can see both in plan view and if I go to an elevation I can also see them there so most important uh, yeah, this elevation this reference plane here and the one on the right there clearly identify for us the extents of the boundary okay so with all of that um, in place what we can now do is start putting down some walls yeah, uh, yes putting down some walls um, right so uh, what we're going to do here um, is we um, so we're just going to lay them down so we're going to start by you putting down the um, the first floor walls to start off with okay so um, if you're familiar with Revit um, we've got our wall tool in the top left hand corner there in our architecture tab of the ribbon so I want you to click on that okay or we could type in WA okay that brings up the properties of the current wall type um, at the moment they're showing a double brick which is not what we're after so if we click on that double on that line there on the arrow okay we get the drop down menu okay and what we're going to look for here is um, a, a, a brick wall very commonly used in um, Australia and New Zealand uh, called brick veneer okay so because this is the Australian library or the Australian template um, Autodesk have been kind enough to give us a couple of brick veneer style of walls um, I've got one there 250 steel 250 timber now they're not technically 100% correct because a, a normal brick veneer wall would be 240 um, wide but we're going to use this to start off with in the next lesson I'm going to show you how to modify um, you know, tweak this wall so it becomes a 250 uh, 240 timber wall but anyway let's just click on that brick veneer timber wall there okay so we've got a few little things before we even place the wall there's a couple of th few little things that we need to do first okay so the first thing is to make sure that we've got our base constraint right so we have to be in the ground floor so that's the first thing okay let's come down a little bit further now we have a top constraint here so at the moment we're unconnected and this 8000 in black text means that the wall, an unconnected wall will be constructed at 8 meters high which is a bit too much so if I click on that unconnected click on that drop down arrow okay it will give us the available levels that have been created so we're going to bring this particular wall up to the ceiling level okay you remember you'll now see that this unconnected height goes, gets greyed out and the number changes to the height where it is now constrained to okay so that's step number one with a wall making sure that you have the correct heights you know the correct top and bottom constraints okay the next thing if we go to um, the location line here okay it says wall center line okay and that means that the wall is going to be drawn 50 50 either side of 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 the cursor um, that's perfect if we're, if we're using grids um, we're working to columns and things like that um, I find for residential product um, projects um, I, I would tr like to use a different version um, different setting okay so if I click on that again I've got a little drop down arrow with some options here so we've got wall center line core center line finish face exterior finish face interior core face or core face so there's a few different options here but really the one that I'm going to want today is finish face 
is finished face exterior okay so we're just going to pick that one there okay so bottom constraint top constraint location lines this is where the wall is going to draw from okay one more little thing to do if we go down to the bottom a little bit okay into sort of like our visual controls okay next to the scale scales fine at 1 to 100 we've got this little box here which is the detail level okay so river has three levels of detail so at the moment by default it's coarse which doesn't give us any information about what's within the wall like what's the construction method okay so but if I change that to fine it's going to be we'll be able to see the brick um, and the other elements within the wall okay so we've got everything now to actually construct the wall so what I'm going to do remember this is this is sort of our boundary here okay this is the garage and these other bits here so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to that top left hand corner see I'm getting an intersection snap there so left click drop that okay so you can see what's happening when I use the finished face exterior wall so I'm just going to draw that line there okay I'm just going to double escape out of there I'm going to zoom in a little bit okay so we three see three components for that wall okay now a uh, little thing here you can see that all these lines are very thin okay which means that my thin lines command is active okay um, so if I go to my short key cuts up here there's a little button up here called thin lines or the command is TL if I turn that off what it does is actually will display the the line weights as they are currently set the thin lines tool just allows us to see things a little bit clearer while we're working on detail okay but we'll stick to this one so here we have we've got a brick hatch we've got a thermal, um, we've got the um, the foot the gap here and then we've got the timber frame on the side here for the wall so that's how the brick wall is constructed okay so let's just start that again there's the wall command just double check you got everything correct it shouldn't change so on my left hand side there okay end point I'm now going to drag that down and like I said the finished face exterior as long as I work in a clockwise direction the exterior element of the wall click there will stay on the outside okay so I just keep clicking along as you can see the walls get all nicely filleted and trimmed as we go along rivets very kind to us and there we go double escape out of it and there we go so there's the basics you know there's the basic wall you know for the project at this stage okay now I'll just give you another little example on one of these reference lines of what happens when we change the location line so back to wall so this is finished face exterior again I'm going to move in a clockwise direction okay clockwise direction that's what the wall looks like in relation to this the, the line that we snapped to if I change that to say wall center line again using the same reference point draw it across there we go if I click on that wall no it's not going to tell us okay but that wall is 50 50 there another option there let's have a look core center line again still working I think so the core the wall has been set at the core the timber frame is the load bearing element of a brick veneer wall okay so it's now centered the the line on there um, I think if I try say just finish face interior versus finish face exterior what happens here there we go it's, uh, it just everything started on this red line but the, each of these walls been drawn in a slightly different position based on you know the the parameters that we told Revit to do so I'm just going to grab all that delete that DE for delete okay let's quick zoom out into 3D just double check that we've got everything 
Okay, it's looking pretty neat at this stage. Okay, back to my ground floor plan. I'm going to zoom in here. Okay, um, I'll show you one more little trick or one little more thing here. Okay, so as you can see that we are in down the bottom left hand here. Okay, remember we've got the detail level is fine and we can see all of the detail. If I change that to coarse, that is the effect we get. Okay, so in um, Australia, possibly New Zealand, um, we have a stage in design called town planning, um, which we have to do occasionally. Okay, um, at that stage, the 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 town planners quite often not too interested in the um, construction methods, so we might use a coarse de bit of detail. Okay, so it's it's just diagrammatic. Switch to the construction drawings. All we have to do is just go change that detail level fine, and voila, there we go. It's all sorted. Okay, so um, yes. So we're going to leave it right there. So because there's a couple of new tricks there with walls. Um, next video, we're going to. Um, just review everything a little bit. We'll probably tweak this wall a little bit, so we'll make it a proper 240 wall, um, and we might muck around with getting some offsets happening in here as well. So because it's the garage, normally these this would be a little bit lower than the rest of the house, and um, we'll sort all that out. But until then, uh, we will catch you later.